Hello, dear brothers and dear friends. Good afternoon to everybody out there. This is the voice of uh, Professor Peter Wuteva Kuntai, a U.S. based linguist. Today, uh, I will be talking about uh, conjunctions, the role of the grammatical and semantic uh, functions of, uh, of conjunctions in my mother tongue. Uh, if you recall, those of you who have been following me live, if you recall last week, I discoursed the same uh, part of speech, but we did not, we left uh, with some unfinished business, which means that uh, we did not finish it, uh, we didn't finish the task that we had in front of us uh, last week. And so that's what I, I decided to do today to complete this uh, this task because next week I'll be handling a different uh, aspect of uh, the grammar of my of my people. Excuse me. So uh, I just want to refresh your memory uh, about last week's uh, uh, discussion, grammatical discussion we had here. Uh, we did agree that a conjunction is a word that we use in the English language to connect to connect uh, 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 sentences. We can use uh, a conjunction to connect um, clauses together. We may uh, connect a main clause to a subordinate clause when we want to create uh, compound sentences uh, or complex sentences. And we did name a few conjunctions in English, uh, namely, and, but, uh, if, for, nor, yet and many more there are many more so today we would we'll be like, taking a, a look at uh, the second set of uh, of conjunctions in my mother tongue my mother tongue is called uh and and like i said it's a one of the uh, lang one of the tonal languages spoken in the northwest region of the republic of cameroon uh i come from Ngokotenja division uh in the northwest region of cameroon so we will continue this discussion today, good friends. And the, the first uh, conjunction I want to handle today is, uh, is, is called buka. Buka means because, okay? So if you hear somebody uh, in my village say something like, monogwe buka, buka timo, for example. Monogwe buka timo. He's simply saying, uh that you i came because you called me you called for me or you asked me to come or you asked for me and you, as you can see in this sentence good friends there are two uh two clauses the the first uh, first clause is um monogwe which means i came okay monogwe i came and the uh, independent or subordinate clause is called is is the other the other segment of the sentence which says buka no timo buka no timo is because you called me if you realize this uh, good friends if you are grammarian or what you don't have to be a grammarian you see that the subordinate clause buka no timo cannot stand on its own if you take it off if you take the take away the main clause which is monogwe that book not will be will be uh will be limping it would not stand as an individual uh a semantic uh structure and so the subordinate clause book uh needs the anatimo uh, monogwe it, it needs the monogwe which is the main clause in order to have some semantic value semantic semantics meaning uh meaning that's what the, the meaning of semantics is in grammatical terms okay so that's the first uh, conjunction we're going to be handling today, good friends. Um, the other conjunction I would like to tackle today is uh, it's called bukaka. Bukaka is <laughs> it sounds uh, it sounds very long in my mother tongue. Bukaka is three sound segments, is three enunciations, but in uh, it, it does translate simply as why. Okay, why? Um, so if you hear uh, anybody from my village say something like bukaka," he is simply saying, why did you steal his money? Uh, is steal, uh, which can be used as a verb, as, an, as a noun as well uh, in my mother tongue, but I don't want to go into, the, to, I don't want to confuse you guys, but the, the statement, bukaka." Uh, uh simply translates 
the English uh, statement, why did you steal his money? As you can see, good friends, Buka got, you know, it helps to uh, clarify uh, the, the rationale or the motive behind the uh, the act of stealing. Okay. Um, the other the, the conjunction that I would like to tackle today is called ka. Ka, as you hear by itself, praise God, it sounds like one single uh, sound segment right there. So if somebody says something like ka kieko bishia chenfon, ka kieko, ka kieko bishia chenfon. Uh, now, what this said, statement may sound like, uh, it sounds like uh, a sacrilegious statement, but uh, that's my people do use uh, such those kinds of uh, proverbial or idiomatic expressions to uh, to express their thoughts. In fact, this statement means if you have money, you can insult the, the king or the fun, uh, which in most villages in the Northwest, if you come from the what they call the Grafi land, Insulting the phone is 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 seriously uh, frowned upon. In fact, in most villages, including my village, to insult the phone is a taboo. I know today we've thrown our graphic cultures to the to the dogs because we have suddenly uh, uh, you know in, in borrowed the white man's culture and we are now we are now completely uh, deculturized. But in my when I was growing up in the village, uh, many many decades ago, uh, you could not open your mouth and say something stupid to the phone. Or to the king anyways so i'm using this i don't want to go into local politics but i'm just saying here that the word ka is a conjunction that helps you to uh, is explain to link the uh, the main clause uh which is you can insult the phone uh to the other subordinate clause which means which says which means that the the kashia chief is the main clause that is dependent on kakiko to have meaning because the only reason you can insult the phone is because you have money as you can see the word ka the conjunction ka helps you to connect the the two subordinate one subordinate clause and the uh, one one clause that is considered independent okay so um the next one i hope i'm not losing anybody there good friends this language is a pretty exciting language and it's uh, it's tough at the same time so I, I encourage you to stay there. Hang on, hang, hang on to your, your seat, and let's ride, let's drive this, let's let's uh, let's paddle this boat together. The next, um, the the next one, the next uh, conjuncture that I'm going to talk about here uh, is the word uh, to. Okay, to. And um, if somebody says in my village, Babu kuye fin te bon gwe. Babu kuye fin te bon gwe. He's simply saying, we will wait here until they return, or they not return, they, until they come. Maybe they were expecting the arrival of somebody or a group of people. And the speaker is saying, Babu queer fan, queer is to wait. Babu queer fan to bon gwe. He's simply saying, We will wait here until whoever they're referencing in the discourse until they come. So the conjunction te, as you hear it, te, translates until in, 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 uh, in the English language. Okay. So Babu gwe fan, Babu queer fan, sorry, Babu queer fan. Uh, to Bongwe simply translates the idea that whoever is speaking is going to wait uh, here or in that particular spot until the people that they are referencing uh, uh, return or, or come, not to return, arrive, okay? And you can actually use the word return as well. You can say, for example, Babu kuye fin, but let me change the, the verb, Babu chia fin tabuna, okay? Chia is to wait, chi to, is to wait, wait for somebody. So if, you, if somebody from my village says something like "Babu chia fin tabuna," he's saying we will wait for you here until you return from wherever you're going to. Okay. So regardless of how you use it, uh, dear brothers and uh, dear brothers and dear sisters and good friends out there, it uh, the word t, t, it simply translates until. 
and you can um, you can um, uh, use it uh, very very uh, very sparingly because I say it sparingly because you cannot put the, the conjunction uh, to in the at the beginning of the sentence what you call in grammatical terms in the initial position of the sentence you have to put it in the middle you cannot put it at the end of the sentence either because then it will not serve the grammatical function of linking uh two different clauses one being dependent and one the other one being independent okay so that's that's it uh, dear friends um another uh, conjunction that my people use very frequently is uh the conjunction undo 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 let me say undo okay and uh, uh my people uh can use it in several ways they can say for example ndundo jisoko gwe you know ndundo jisoko gwe which means the the time the, which means when jesus came you know for example so ndundo when you hear the word ndundo it's actually translates the english uh conjunction um uh when okay you can also say something like ndundo bonko buna banye bonfe you know ndundo bonko buna that will be translated roughly as when they return, we did not see them, or when we did not see them when they returned. Okay, dear friends, I hope uh, I am not losing anybody yet. Uh, we are moving right on there. Uh, hang on to the race of this train. This train is a five-speed train. It doesn't it doesn't wait for anybody. So I encourage you to to stay the course. And to hang on, hang on, hang on in there. Let's see where we can go. I think I still got about three to go. Okay. The uh, uh, the other one, the other conjunction that I want to tackle today uh, is uh, the word mebon. 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 It sounds ter it sounds very long, but it simply translates but b u t in English. Or if you want to sound more linguistically sophisticated. You can say it translates on the contrary. And I'm going to, going to give you examples so that I can drive home this point. If a Mukha, person, Mukha is my people, folks. Mukha, Lot Mukha is my, my village. When you hear Mukha, I'm referring to people of, from my village. If a Mukha person says to, says to you, Ano kiembe, Ano kiembe, Me bon kienofe. This is a terrible statement to for somebody to say say to you for, uh, for you know from my village he's th this statement means you are very rich but you are very very lacking in manners okay i know kim is money my people also say kuh, okay like in any other language you have syn synonyms mb and kuh, uh it, it refer those two words refer to uh to money in my village in my mother tongue so if a person, regardless of the gender, man, woman, young man, young woman, tells you, and I can kick your young boy, nini, my boy, kick it's not, it's not a, it's not a complimentary type of statement. He's actually slapping you in the face, so to speak, proverbially or you know, figuratively. He's saying to you, yeah, you are very rich, but you lack manners. You're, you behave uncouthly. Your behavior is very uncouth. And so my people will use these kinds of contrasts to be able to underscore the moral traits of people that they don't particularly like. I hope this makes sense. And you can use this in uh, many, many ways to underscore certain contrasts in, in the, our daily discourses. So uh, mebon is the equivalent of but or on the contrary. Okay. So we're moving on. I'm looking at my, uh, my clock here because I don't want to send people to sleep. Uh, grammar is cool, is sweet, but it's not at the level of everybody. So I, I want to keep it short so that people don't fall asleep as I speak. Okay, so we're going to move on. Um, uh, uh, good friends. The other one is uh, uh, the, uh, the 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 word um, uh, finally, and it goes like. Um, uh, Okay, 
bon ki a yal le gofe, you know? Ndon di te ke nou, ndon di te ke nou, bon ki a yal le gofe. Now, the di te ke nou, <coughs> excuse me, uh, the di te ke nou here actually means finally, okay? Ndon di te ke nou. Okay, li, li, that's an, that's how and um, that's another way my people will say it. Kali li, you know, kali li. Uh, bon kia yalu of it, which means finally they did not uh, catch or arrest the thief. Okay, kali li. I think it's better to say kali li rather than saying don diye kano. Diye is also good. It's not. It's not don diye kano. It's not. A, it's not grammatically incorrect, but they. But I think my people. Will generally and idiomatically say something like "to go li limbo nto mokia yalle gofe to go li limbo na mokia yalle gofe to go li limbo wen mokia yalle gofe." That is grammatically and idiomatically more acceptable than saying "don di dikanu." You know, but you can say that you can say "don di dikanu." It's really when you are, when you are naming things in a list, "fukanu" and so on. You "fukanu" means the first thing. And then, and then you keep going down until when you get to the last thing, you will say, "Don di the key or "Don di dekanu." But in this particular case, uh, since we're talking about arresting somebody, I think that uh, the best way to put it, good friends, is to say, "Tukuli li, tukuli li, bonkaya, bonkaya li of mbonto." So, good friends, uh, I want to thank you for taking time off your very busy schedule to listen to me uh, talk about conjunctions uh, in my mother tongue, Game of Cargo, for two weeks now. Last week, we did a set of uh, conjunctions, and uh, I promise, I did promise that I will uh, uh, find some time this week to finish the, the, the discussion or the discourse on conjunction, and I've done so. I've uh, given you a, a, a second part of my tutoring, my tutoring, uh, so if you go to YouTube now, you're going to see uh, uh, conjunctions, game of conjunctions, uh, part one, and you're going to see conjunctions, part two, which is the one we are producing right now. So what I intend to do now is uh, treat um, the counting of numbers, uh, numbers from one to, fifth, uh, to 50, and then eventually numbers uh, from one to 100. And in, in some of my subsequent, my subsequent videos, because I have noticed when I talk with my people, Many of them who who claim to be Moko people, they don't even know how to count properly. So I've taken it upon myself as a challenge to uh, make sure that I have to produce something out there that some of them can go and sit in front of the YouTube videos and watch and teach themselves. So I am seizing this opportunity to thank uh, my my viewers out there, my fans out there. I know some people love me, some people hate me. That's part of life. Um, so I am encouraging you to watch this video and to uh, li listen to it intently and make some comments. If you like it, give me the thumbs up. If you don't like it, you can give me the th thumbs down, but that will not deter me from producing more videos, okay? So thank you very much, and uh, stay strong, my good friend. God bless you, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.